I started working here in 1982, and I was training to be a carpenter. As a carpenter trainee, I kept thinking, I want to do Mi'kmaq cultural things. I kept saying, let's build a canoe, let's build a canoe. And, and in the first few years I was here, that wasn't, uh, wasn't something that they wanted to do. And they had never seen me build a canoe, and I had never built a canoe. <laughs> so I can understand why. But I think over the years of people saying no, no, made me more determined. When Todd came to me in 2014 and said, I, I want to I have this idea, I want to build this canoe. And I was like, all right, let's do it. I didn't know how we were going to do it. And it was pretty makeshift the first couple of years. Um, but we made it happen. That's cool, huh, buddy? We could put it together in a couple of weeks. But here we talk a lot. <laughs> My helper, Rosie, Rosie Hughes here, she'll say, it's not just building a canoe. It's bringing back the stories. We believe that elders are people who have been here many, many, many times, many, many lives, because that's where their wisdom comes from. And some, some elders are young, but they're born with wisdom that they shouldn't have yet. When an elder comes here, everything stops. It's like a walking book of knowledge just walked in. And uh, so, so we're so thankful to have that. What I find so special about Todd is he's not the type of artist or craftsman that likes to work alone in a shop with the doors closed. He wants to work and share his craft. If we weren't here and we're, I was in my shop in the back of the house with nobody to come visit, it wouldn't be any fun for me. Being here, we meet people from all over the world and uh, they share their stories, we share ours. We, we work a little bit every now and then, and we build a canoe. But you know, canoe building is so much more than just canoe building. It's, uh, it's community building as well.